Welcome racers, Marshall Prout. We are here on a Friday at Worldwide Technology Raceway. It's a cool 99 degrees. And you know what? It actually feels a little cooler than it did just last week when I was in Sebring for the first test and final test, hopefully the confirmation test of IndyCar's new hybrid package. It's gonna go into production, get ready for 2024. Was there in Sebring, got a chance to see both Team Chevy and Honda Performance Development running their cars, Chip Ganassi Racing with Scott Dixon on the Honda side, Will Power Team Penske on the Chevy side. Phenomenal to watch. We've got more videos to roll out, some tech insights and some other cool things too, but for the very first one, wanted to do something very simple. Been asked for the past year or two or however long it's been since IndyCar announced we're going hybrid, going electrified, Folks been wondering, what is it gonna sound like? Is this gonna be Formula E and just high pitch whines? Gonna sound like a vacuum? Gonna sound like your little Roomba running around cleaning? Well, take a listen to this and you tell me. Sounds the same, sounds identical. Having spent countless hours of my life trackside with these 2.2 liter twin turbo V6 motors from Chevy and Honda, I can tell you it's identical. We've lost no sound, there's been nothing given up, and here's a couple more examples. <laughs> So for those who might have been worried about, are we going to lose the sound? Are we going to lose the identity of IndyCar? Not at all. No difference. Nothing has been given up whatsoever in terms of sound and ferocity and aggression. So big kudos to IndyCar, all the vendors involved, which again, we'll get into in some future videos here very shortly, but can tell you for what IndyCar president Jay Fry has been saying about fast and loud hasn't been lying, saw it, heard it firsthand. These things sound just the same way that they do here and we will hear all weekend long at Worldwide Technology Raceway. <laughs> 